Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. And I'm still working on my uh, big, big fill project. Um, I wasn't able to do an episode until recently because uh, my game would crash. It was in like an infinite crash loop. I couldn't, uh, couldn't seem to fix it no matter what I did. I'd load up my save file and it would crash within 30 seconds. But I guess they fixed whatever bug that was. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention last episode was the new stuff with the printing pod in the uh, Quality of Life uh, Upgrade Mark II, which is coming out in, on the 19th, which is a couple days. Uh, you can get items out of the printing pod now, which is kind of interesting. So you can get water, you can get uh, creatures, you can get lots of different stuff. Sometimes there's food. They're probably going to tweak this, so I'm not sure if it'll stay like this, but... Uh, if you get water, it come it comes out as bottled water. There's a new animation there, which is pretty cool. Any bottled water I have, though, I right now I just dump into space, so it's kind of a waste. But they also changed the art behind doors, so these are pneumatic doors, and there's kind of a cool pattern behind them. And you can actually build on top of them now. And if you build on top of them. Oh, they changed it. So there was a bug you could build over top of doors. I guess they fixed that. Let me just double check if it's still possible. With... No, you can't do it. For, for a while you could, but I guess they fixed that. So let's zoom out here. You can see the kind of the progress of the, the big fill project. It's going pretty well. Uh, the bottom, oh, the bottom's coming along. And then I'm working on this section here. I'll fill all the way up to here. And then this section here, once I reach the level. I'm running on slow speed now because it still takes forever to save each cycle. That's why I haven't been playing it as much as well, because it takes about, I don't know, you'll see, many seconds to save the map. And it seems to be getting slower and slower, so. Let's do that, priority seven. Yeah, so I'm just filling my, my way up here. We'll eventually hit here. I'll keep going until I reach this level. I need to leave some access points so, them, so they could get in. But you may notice that I'm getting 33, between 25 and 35 frames per second. Now I was getting about 15 frames per second and I did a little bit of a cheat here. I turned on debug mode and I mopped out all the magma and I got an extra 10 to 15 frames per second. It was pretty dramatic. I was like, I didn't I didn't think I would get more performance out of it. I just was doing it kind of as a joke, just fooling around. And I noticed my frames per second just jumped dramatically. So pretty cool. Um, this magma is pretty much, most of it's inaccessible anyway. So it wasn't like I was ever gonna use it. And if it, if it hurts performance, I uh, might as well just get rid of it. Plus, I've already, already filled it in here, so I'm never going back down here again. So just a little tip, if you ever want to increase your frames per second, turn on debug mode, turn on the insta build, and just mop up the stuff, and you'll be, uh, you'll be laughing. I'm also filling in along here, this bottom corner here, I'm just slowly, slowly working on. Kind of deconstructing ladders as I go up. This part, I'll probably leave an access tunnel here somewhere and then fill all this in. But I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to continue on this map. We'll see. Food's been pretty stable. Uh, I had to turn some of it off because it was starting to grow again. It got down to about 400,000 and it was decreasing, so I turned on a few of these lights, but then it dramatically went up again. So this is off for now. So the only source of food right now is actually these these two farms with fertilizer and it's been working really well like lots of lots of food coming in. I'm also growing pinch of pepper nut and there's also a few pieces of meat that come from these hatches once in a while. But not a whole lot of food comes from that. It's almost all stuffed berry. A little bit of pepper bread, pepper bread. There is some very neglected sleet wheat down here that's been growing and they manually water this at the moment this is just to keep the species alive because i've i've, do, I've dug up all the uh natural sleet wheat pretty much 
I think this might be the only one of the only beat bits left here. We do have one brain upgrade left, so I might actually use that. Let's get uh Who should we do? Who should we do? Let's do I could never remember who I've done in the past. Let's do Jerd. I think they can get double upgrades. Oh, this is this Aaron's looks new. Interesting. I haven't seen this menu yet. Oh, on the actual machine. You can see it on the dupe. Their to-do list, which is very handy now. Slowly filling it in. I'm running at slow speed because the save is so, so slow. And I, I pre-positioned some granite here so that they can uh, build faster. Oh, there's one other great feature that I really like, and that's that you can upgrade ladders to plastic now without them rebuilding them. Actually, they can't get in here, so I don't even know why I'm doing this. But there are sections that I do want to upgrade, like right down here. Might as well do this too. Uh, I found a bug with, <laughs> with the LG distiller. Check this out. Look what's inside of this LG distiller. We got coal, water, granite, polluted dirt, sand. Pretty much everything under the sun. I have no idea what's going on here. Very strange. It's like it's being... It's like it's a storage container or something. I don't really understand. It might be related to the auto sweeper. I don't think so, but I just looked at this and I noticed all this stuff. Actually, I'm going to deconstruct this one, rebuild it, and see if the auto sweeper sticks all that stuff back in there. I should have done that earlier. Okay, I'll do just to Okay, here comes the end of the cycle. You'll get to see what what the save time's like. Okay, Auto Sweeper's not putting anything in there. I'm gonna de deconstruct this one too. I think they've been pretty much broken. They haven't been, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh, we got a mopping problem. Oh, they're freezing too. Uh oh, clean up on aisle nine. Oh, I just saw a visual bug there. I don't know if you guys saw it. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Anyway. Oh. It's this weird bug where it shows them having a bunch of bodies. Little tiny bodies. It's really bizarre. Let's put another one back here. Oh, there it is. Oh. Oh. It's very bizarre. Anyway. Uh, I don't know. I might do further episodes on this map, but probably not. I'm going to start a new map. And I'm going to use a custom map that I found in the forums quite a while ago. It's just been sitting in my map folder. It's kind of a spherical map, and it doesn't have any magma. I don't want to give too much away. It'll be in the thumbnail, I think, of the first episode that I do. I'm going to use the quality of life upgrade mark two for the map. I consider playing on the highest dif difficulty settings, but I've done that in the past, and what I found was that it just was excruciatingly slow. Not very exciting to watch. You have to be very careful because any little bits of germs uh, basically kill your dupes. So you have to like keep them healed and make lots of medicine. I think the having a custom map will make it interesting and in all the new updates as well. I'm not sure I'll be able to launch rockets from it because it's kind of a weird map. Okay, where did this come from? What is this? Dirt. Where did this dirt come from? Very strange. This is a polluted oxygen vent somehow 
Some dirt got there. That's really weird. It does come out super hot, so maybe something melted. I think maybe some slime melted here. That's kind of what it looks like. Anyway, so new custom map. That might actually come out really soon. I I'm anxious to start playing the game again from the start because uh, I do enjoy the end game, but the whole rocket thing, I still find it's a little bit clunky and it takes a very long time to get your to bootstrap your way up to the higher rockets. But I enjoy the early game a lot and the performance is really good, so that's why I'm going to start again. And I haven't really been playing it much. I haven't played this uh, for about, I don't know, a week or two. Oh, this guy. <laughs> I always forget to take them off the machine. Uh, luckily, luckily he didn't die. Oh, deep diver's lungs, okay. Good, good. Got some melting stuff up here. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's pretty fast, except when the autosave happens, and that's why I, I kind of don't want to keep working on this map. Unless they fix things, but I think it's going to be another six to eight weeks before we get another update, so. Performance is better in this update. Okay, having really, having some troubles with the mopping here. Yeah, performance is better, but the saving is still brutal on high cycle bases. There's new artifacts you can get from space, but I, like I said last episode, I dismantled my whole rocket system. It used to be here, <laughs> but I deconstructed it. So yeah, artifacts, lots of little interesting trick trinkets you can get from space. Take a look at them building here. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that over there. That mopping project is not going very well. Here comes the auto save. Kinda wanted to get to cycle 4000, but. I might let the game run overnight. It's pretty stable now. There's enough food and oxygen and everything and stress is usually sitting at around zero. Jared got stressed out because I trapped him on the machine but there's also another change with gases which I, I really like uh, and that's to do with background buildings so if we look up here we can see that there's hydrogen here now and oxygen it's kind of blue in front of the background tile the drywall so before um, you couldn't see this. It was pretty much invisible. Unless you use the gas overlay. So I kind of like that you can see it now. It kind of looks like bubble gum or something. Kind of looks like a pink fart, anyway. I don't think anyone has pink farts. But that's what it looks like. Actually, this looks like a fart. <laughs> anyway. That's disgusting. Okay. I was slowly filling in this tiny hole over here. Gotta get this sealed up. And then I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do here. I'll probably seal this up. I had some materials stuck in here, but now I can fill this back in. The other thing I'm gonna do with the next map is just, I'm not, this this one I knew that it had two slush geysers, which is just completely overkill. Makes it too easy. So next map, I'm just gonna do a random map and see what I get. I won't, it'll all be, it'll all be uh, random and I won't know what I'm getting, so it'll be more interesting. I'll probably build my cooking area right beside a chlorine food storage next time. This is a little bit of a run that they have to go, no it's not very far, but between the food storage and here. You don't need to store it in chlorine, but I was somehow getting germs into things. Someone mentioned that 
You get germs from sinks now. If the dirt, if the water is dirty, but I haven't seen that yet. No one seems to have food poisoning, and they've all been going going to the bathroom. So I really kind of like these uh, hand sanitizers because they use hardly any bleach stone at all. Let's see how much bleach stone I have here. Uh, Five point two tons. I think I use about a ton every. I don't know. 500 to 1,000 cycles. Like, it lasts a long, long time. And there's uh, there's still more of it on the map I haven't dug up yet. Okay, these seem to be working now. They're not full of random, random things. That's good. But there's slime here. Oh, the priorities are up, messed up. That's why. Gotta do priority six here. This auto sweeper should grab this slime, but it's not. Very strange. Yeah, it should be able to grab this and put it in right here. But for some reason, it is not. Hmm. And we're frozen in time. There we go. Maybe priority eight? Nope. Yeah, I don't know why they, this auto sweeper doesn't work anymore. I guess I'll rebuild it. Lots of bugs in this game. It is, this is the preview upgrade, so, or preview update. Preview build. You know what I'm trying to say. I did notice also they're kind of doing some excess storage of things. Like they'll come along here, they'll all there seems to be always dropping stuff. Even when they're not on a break or anything, just when they're on work time, they'll just be going up a ladder and they'll just pause, drop things, continue on. It's, I don't know what they're doing. Okay, someone, can you, can you can anyone reach this? No, this is five levels high. Okay, that's why. Uh, let's remove this. And then get in here. Maybe. Okay, let's try the emergency thing. Maybe they can't see it. Maybe they can't remove it. Okay, let's turn that off. Yeah, this is strange. Should be able to deconstruct this. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this. Build a ladder, take this out, put it back in. Come and deconstruct it, folks. There they go. And let's put it back. Okay, it should be able to see everything. Take this ladder back out. Maybe you can't see through the distiller? I don't know. Okay, priority seven. No. Still not working. Maybe the... No, the pipe's not clogged. Maybe I'll deconstruct this thing. Oh, now it's break time. Uh, maybe I can get this in before they go to sleep here. Probably not. Is that a loader? I think I put the wrong thing in. 
Oh, I think I made that a thermium. I don't know why it defaults to thermium. Very bizarre. Let's do gold. Okay, we'll have to do it after their sleeping break. I do have multiple shifts going on though, so someone should be able to do it. Oh, the save lag. Gotta love it. I don't think anyone at Clay has actually played the game for more than a couple hundred cycles. Okay, that's kind of working. Hey, it's actually working. I guess it got clogged up. Too much slime in the, in the pipes. Yeah, so if things don't work, just uh, build them again. I think what's, hap what's happening, and I've seen this happen with containers, fridges, a lot of stuff. It gets some kind of rounding error, and it gets to like 100.000001, and it gets it gets broken. But it seems like it's working now. Let's keep this building project rolling along here. See what else we can do down here. We can probably do some more. It is pretty slow going, that's for sure. What I usually do is do a big build order. Tab out of the game. <laughs> do some work. Okay, wart seed, dirt. Don't really need any of this, but we'll get a we'll get a wart seed. Oh, someone picked it up kind of instantly. We have so much water. I think they deserve to have water coolers. Let's fill those up. They're good little dupes. We'll do it at a low priority, though. This is my hydrogen overflow room. If the pressure gets over 15,000 grams, and then it sends it to get burnt as it just went down there. My oxygen setup is really not very good, but it, it, it works. It works. The map is slowly getting cooler and cooler and cooler. As you can probably tell here. There's not that many heat sources. Actually, let me zoom out and do some of the overlays here. Turn that off. So we got... Actually, I need that on. Oxygen is pretty much everywhere now. Power, temperature. Uh, this is like the thermal tolerance thing. I could probably get rid of exozoots in many areas now. Liquid piping, pretty messy. There's some stuff I could remove down here. Gas piping. Not much I could get rid of there. And decor in the base is pretty good. Outside the base it's pretty crap. Pretty much eradicated germs except this stinky area here. Actually there might not be germs in there. No there aren't. That's because the slime gets picked up right away and disposed of, or it was being picked up right away. Oh no, the save lag. We got poop in midair here. Frozen poop. Timeless poop. I probably won't do a symmetrical base next time. 
I'll be a little bit messier, I think. A little bit more organic. Maybe I'll make a round base. I don't know. I'm going to do something different. Okay, let's go over this way. Continue. Actually, I better leave that in until they finish that. I should probably seal this up now. I'm not going to get any more neural vacillators, and I'm not going to be going here, so I'll get rid of that gold. I got some granite close by, so at least it's uh, faster that way. Oh, I need a little... I need a little lip here. Do that as an emergency. Don't want the water flowing out. Pretty useful command. That wasn't really an emergency, but uh, we'll use it anyway. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, let me turn that back off. I'm almost out of building materials. I've got about 200 tons of igneous rock, 200 tons of granite. Still a decent amount of mafic rock, but I might actually end up using it all if I fill this whole map up. It's possible. And I have the hiccups. Ooh, okay. Anyway, there's not much more I want to show with this map. I don't think... There's our water storage. It is... It's not overflowing anymore. I'm using it fast enough now. Doing some oxygen generation right here, which just pumps out into the map. Doing some cooling with this nullifier to keep this steam condensed. This was for cooling the super hot gas, but right now I don't really need it, so I could take that out. The chlorine I'm not even using, so I should probably just cap that geyser. I could try to put... Hmm. Yeah, I could put... Uh... Whatchamacallit. The squeaky puffs in here to get some... Get some more... Uh... Bleachstone, but I don't really need to. Oh, I forgot to get some materials out of here. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Lots of junk in there. It's going to be there forever, though. I'm not going back in. Ideally, I would use up all the coal and all the... All the stuff, but... Phosphorite's been growing like crazy. 600 tons of it. I don't need 600 tons of phosphorite. I did shrink the Dreco farm down, and that helped quite a bit. Yeah, there's only a few bomb lily in here now, so hopefully that starts to go down. I've got 350 tons of fertilizer. I'm never going to go through that. That's just going to probably continue to grow. So I should really turn off some fertilizer makers. Don't need them all. In fact, if I was a little bit smarter, what I would do is kind of just make it on demand. I'd use a smart container and say, only enable if the smart containers are full. I could probably still do that, but actually I'm going to turn these all off. Yeah, until until this fertilizer level falls down to like 50 tons or something. And then I'll put the automation in. So we'll do a container here or something. But I probably won't continue on with this map. Because it's just too slow.
Anyway, that's probably going to be it. Um, bit of a short episode. Just wanted to kind of close up this base. Kind of show you how things turned out. So I can get on to a new base. Exciting stuff. You can probably imagine filling this in with a big block and filling this in and then it's pretty much done except for space which I, I'm not going to fill in. That would take quite a while and I don't even know if I have enough building materials. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, final episode of the base and I'm going to start a new one pretty soon. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.